nicely. Well, the four private citizens of Inspiration4 have now been in orbit for almost 36 hours. They blasted off Wednesday evening from Kennedy Space Center for a three-day mission, and they are now orbiting 357 miles above the Earth. Amanda Holly joins us now with more about the mission and what's next for them. And Amanda, you got to see that and at launch yourself. In person, at, at, we were just south of there at Cape Canaveral and it was amazing. But shortly after launch, it really didn't take long for SpaceX to send out this video revealing the Crew Dragon's cupola. That's the window you see with the view of Earth behind it. The window is now the largest window in space, really to ever have been in space. While SpaceX released an update on the crew saying they are happy and healthy yesterday afternoon, mission updates have been quite slow. After all, this is not a paid mission by NASA or the government. It's private, meaning they do not have to release any information all, at all. However, we did get these pictures late last night. They said the crew of Inspiration4 had an incredible first day in space. They answered questions from St. Jude patients and have orbited the Earth about 17 times. We will likely see much higher resolution pictures and more details from the flight in the continued docu-series Countdown on Netflix which has documented their stories from start to finish. But their main mission was to raise money for St. Jude with a $200 million goal. As of last check, they have raised about $139 million with a day and a half to go. They are set to splash down somewhere off the coast of Florida tomorrow. The recovery weather, it looks decent in terms of low wave height seas about one to two feet, but we will be watching for some showers and thunderstorms, mainly in the Gulf of Mexico. Just keep in mind, they can land in uh, uh, several different different locations mm -hmm. off anywhere the coastline of Florida. So anywhere from Pensacola, off our coast, uh, even on the East Coast as well. Oh, keep an eye on that. I just, I still can't get over the fact that there's not an actual astronaut yeah. on board. They were not trained by NASA. They, they had all their own private training by SpaceX. And yeah. the view from the cupola is unbelievable. Incredible. I am just so excited to see more and more pictures coming out from that. Uh, I mean, they're 100 miles higher than the mm -hmm. International Space Station, yeah. so. It's incredible. Yes. All right, thanks, Amanda. All right, now.